Dons, dimes, um, as Rudy stated, and he has on our pinstripes. I'm a diehard Yankees fan as well, but we're not doing shit this year. But um, speaking that into existence, uh, Shohei Otani, um, maybe the casual baseball fan has heard the name, doesn't really understand why he's talked about so much. He's the second coming of Babe Ruth for you, some of you fat kids who eat the chocolate. That's actually a person. I'm not. I'm not weight shaming anyone. By the way, I'm not weight shaming anyone. But to all you kids who like chocolate, Babe Ruth, uh, the chocolate was made after him. He was a two-way superstar uh, in baseball, which is very, very difficult. You may think, oh, pitching and hitting is simple. Actually, it hasn't been done many times in 150 years. But he's that good. I did it in, I did it in second grade. We're, we're going to leave that one alone. Um, with that being said, guys, he's been caught up in a gambling scandal so i'm not going to get into that because i actually wanted to i want to get into that next week and have you know introduce a new segment to the show and really go in i'm not going to get into that right now because it can get ugly as a baseball fan because i wanted him in pinstripes don's dimes is going to be this is the bowl for you rudy you are the commissioner of baseball nick you are the commissioner of the nba or you can swap. Would you just allow your players to gamble? And the reason why I ask this is that it's starting to get crazy. It's starting Man. to get to the point where it's like it you are profiting off of these guys and their and the way they play and and, and everything they do in their respective fields. But I can't help but think as athletes, they don't actually get to benefit from the entire pie completely. And if, let's just say Shohei Otani is innocent and he didn't make these these transactions himself, that doesn't mean it's not happening. Calvin Ridley was taking a year away from his career for a harmless bet. Would, would you guys allow your athletes to gamble? Talk to me. Uh-huh. I'm definitely not allowing my athletes to gamble, man. It's just, man, you 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 playing with a double edged a double edged sword. You don't even want to get into that, man. Just keep them away from it. We we make enough money in the in in the sport that we play that we don't need to even get ourselves into that because it ain't nothing good coming out of you. You're losing on bets or you're, you're fixing shit to make more, which you don't really need to. And now it's just causing a whole bunch of problems. Everybody's already. Questioning the integrity of games, you got the referees already getting questioned about it. You got the players being questioned about it, and people are. And this is what the world has come to, and it should have never been allowed into it. But when the the league is pushing it because they're trying to make more money and more money and more money off of it, because oh, the NBA, which is sponsored by Bet Sixty Six, which is also sponsored by Gamble Anonymous, but don't bet, but do bet. But you know, if you do have a problem, go get it checked out. But hey. You could put, hey, $20, and we'll give you another $20 to, to bet more. Like, what are we doing here? Like, it's just, man, this is starting something that is getting totally out of hand. It should never have been even allowed. Just let people go to the backyard bookie like they've been doing for years and years and years. And I'd have been fine with that. But now it's just open to everybody. And everybody just got to have a hand in it. Because it's enticing. It's fun. It's riveting. It gets the, the bloodstream going. And I just got to. Put some money on there because I could flip five dollars into one million. Why not? But now, you know these players are making way more money, and I could put a whole hundred grand. Especially if I'm, hey, I'm a part of it. I, I could put my under or my over. It's just right there for you. I have my homeboy do it. Hey, Donald, man. Hey, I left fifty grand over there by my side of my bed, bro. I ain't gonna say that I'm gonna score less than ten points, but I don't know. Not looking so good for me tonight, baby. And it's just fucking up the whole, the, the league, the integrity. Fans um, are already doubting, man. Like, I I, I want to win. But, shit, if I can make more money, hmm, will I miss that layup that I had wide open off the glass? I don't know. I don't know. But you, you're putting it in our faces too much. And 
you know, you, you're giving us a chance to, to make bad decisions. You know, the little devil and the little angel. I remember when on old TV shows, you had the angel on one on one shoulder, you had the devil right here. And that devil is gambling, and it's, and it's kind of winning right now. You can't allow gambling amongst players. You, I, I don't think there's a problem with them gambling on other sports. So if but, you're playing baseball, I don't think there's a problem if you gamble on football or basketball. You don't play those sports. I don't even care if you know somebody in those sports. It doesn't matter to me. You don't play that sport. But if you're a baseball player gambling on baseball or you're a basketball player gambling on basketball, you can't have that. There's already enough problems with integrity of these games. You have umpires in baseball calling the strikes that are six inches off the plate. Um, Donald, you know, I think it was is it, uh, Laz, Rod, Laz Diaz. Is that the umpire or Angel Hernandez? I think there's a couple of really bad umpires in baseball that yeah. and I don't know if I got their names inverted or whatever. But like, there's a they're, they're, they keep stats of the strike calls and ball calls in baseball, and you see pitches that are a foot off the plate called a strike, and, 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 and by some of these umpires, and they have such a bad ball strike ratio, it almost makes you believe they have to be being paid or gambling on these games. They, there's there's no integrity. Do I think Shohei Ohtani did what he did or, or did what was said? We can keep it to next week, but. I don't believe anything that that kid said. I don't believe anything that was said by anybody in that in that group. Um, there's fall guys for all this shit, and but Pete Rose is out of baseball for for his life. The all time hits leader is out of baseball because of gambling. And I don't care if you're gambling for your team. If you're gambling for your team, I mean, it's like dangerous in itself. But you know, you can never believe that they're just gambling for their team. Exactly, they're gambling against their team. And they like the situation with was it Calvin Ridley? You know, what are you doing? You just wasted ten million dollars for a fifteen hundred dollar bet. You that hard up for it? That doesn't make sense. But it's it's completely a, it's a massive problem because first off, there's betting lines. Not to mention there are betting lines in Vegas. And if I'm gambling on a game, and there's the and you have players that are throwing games. Shouldn't I get my money back? Shouldn't I get yeah. every dollar if I lose because that player threw a game? I, I mean, to me, it's a to me, it's not just a it's a not just a theft. You're stealing from people, and people have gone to prison for this. They've gone to prison. Stephen think- Smith from Arizona State, Headache Smith, he went to prison for this, for throwing for for point shaving. Um, it wasn't to lose, but he went to prison. And you just can't have this type of situation go on in your sports. Like, they should not be allowed to gamble on their sports. If they gamble on other sports, I don't care. But on their sport? And, but, dude, what are you gambling with bookies for? Like, what the f- – what is going on here? There's apps like crazy. Taxes. Now, so obvi- to evade huh? taxes. What was that? They're doing it to evade taxes. I ain't think you're being slick Why by do doing you, it. But, but evade taxes on a $1,500 bet? But you think no, no. Shohei's was his bets were no Shohei's was four point five million. But you, yeah. but you, but you think you're being slick by going. But, you're, to but, but all these bookies, all these book, any any major bookie, they the get feds know, The feds know about it because you can't bring that much money in and out of accounts and not yeah, get you flat. can't. And, and the feds know about this stuff. It's yeah. it's like, and I don't even want to bring up this other topic because I mean, yeah, I do because it's kind of like whatever. But we just had a popular musician have his houses raided and they're saying he's evaded town no he hasn't they know exactly where he is like you th- these feds know about this bookie they know about it and they know about any big bookie it's like it's so like what, come on I, I, so, so what are you going to do to fix it like you, you, you say that show he'll be kicked out of the league so if you, he did you, it you, be kicked out of the league you said that you will let them bet on other sports, but other not sports there. I have no problem with because you're not playing that game. But, but it's no, like, this it's is like what problem. they Rudy. Do you actually know the bets that he's accused of making? I ha- I I mean I saw what was said. They said it wasn't baseball, but I don't believe that. Yeah, none of them are baseball. No, they track. That. I don't believe none that. Of them are baseball. So according to you, well, you the problem a- that he did was he committed a felony by sending a wire to a bookie. Yes. This is he my sent a million dollars in wires to a bookie. 
This and that's my... a felony, for, uh, uh, you know, because it, it went over state lines or whatever. And I just uh, don't understand. I, no, I just actually, don't. I was in California. Was, was, was it? It was in California. It wasn't but I know, even I know him wired the money as a felony. It, it, it's va- invading taxes. Okay. A Rod got hit up with this stuff years ago in Miami. Big time mm-hmm. bookie that was in Miami. I actually knew the dude. Okay. But I, I, I agree with Nick, what he was saying earlier. These leagues. They're starting to profit off of gambling way too much. I agree it's like, with you. It's right in these guys' faces. It's, it's to the point I've seen athletes say, like, it's almost not fun to do your job. Because you, you, you get on Twitter, you go home, and someone's telling you, you fucked up. <laughs> you fucked up my money line. You piece Come of on. shit. You couldn't get eight <laughs> points tonight. I had you for the over. And it's like, it's it's everywhere. Even... One of the team, the organizations, and I love it, the association. I love the associations. Adam Silver, everybody there. They've done a great job. But even them, like ESPN NBA shows, now it's like ESPN bets now. And it's just it's just in your face. And That's a everything. problem. I agree with you. That's a problem. I think it's becoming like a problem for people. Where you have casual fans who don't really watch sports, but they gamble. So their 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 interest in sports is based around gambling. It's not even around. No, nobody cares. About I mean, remember sport. what I told you guys last week when I said when I was in Vegas and you got the thirty eight point spread and these guys are going crazy in the, in the in the sports book. Like, I agree with you. The way that these leagues have attached themselves to gambling, it's a massive problem, and it makes I them they're the, massive hypocrites. You know because. The, but that was part of the reason they didn't want to bring teams to Vegas. Like, you know, any, any sports teams to Vegas <laughs> brought, was because of gambling. Vegas to the league. And now, and now everything's going to Vegas. I mean, the, you're going to the crazy, the crazy have now, an NBA team in, the, in Vegas soon enough. The crazy part is now is the props, Rudy. Like, it was before you were just betting on, you know, games and games. Now I could bet if a <clears> player took a thousand steps in the game. It's like literally everything to bet on, like – what was the person gonna eat for breakfast? Like, like there's so much things. To- it's, it's to the point where it's, it's like, being crazy. How are you saying you're not trying to create degenerate gamblers? But you guys have literally, Everything literally to opportunities. Who's gonna make the first free throw? What? Like, this is a little shocking. But Who's gonna win the coin to- toss in the Super Bowl? Yes, it's, it's just shocking. For so for me, guys, I, I'm glad we were able to have a little back and forth. I want to get. A little more elaborate into this as the season starts tomorrow. I really want to see what the MLB does with Shohei. That's why I want to hold off until tomorrow to discuss this. I um, bet. The, I bet the Yankees don't win. Listen, I mean, <laughs> playing, we're play, We're playing at Houston with Nestor Cortez. Just, I need. I need Nasty Nestor to come and get at least have me be one and zero, because then I can hold on to my one sixty two and zero dream. You you have more faith than me, Rudy. So shout out to you. Thank you for watching. Come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.